Printer profiles are used to apply a combination of printer properties with a single click, which can improve user productivity. They are also used to access advanced printer properties, such as hole punching and stapling. In this video, we'll go through the steps to create, delete, and edit printer profiles. We'll also go through creating default printer profiles, which is a new feature in version 801. Default printer profiles are not visible to the user, and if the user does not select a profile before they click print, the default profile will be automatically applied to the user's print job. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to select a printer profile in a user session. To start, let's go to the Uniprint print server. Under Tools and Utilities, click Printer Profiles. To create a new profile, click to select HP Universal Printing. Driver level profiles can be applied to any printer that utilizes this driver. Below are two printer specific profiles that can only be applied to print jobs sent directly to the HP LaserJet. To create a new profile, click New. Give the profile a name. And then enter a description. Click the Settings tab. Since not all HP printers staple, make this profile printer specific. Select Use for this printer only. We don't want users to be able to override double-sided printing. Clear double-sided printing. And then click Properties. This will launch the native printer driver. Click the Finishing tab. Select Print on both sides. Click the Output tab. From the staple list, select one staple angled. Max 15 sheets. And then click OK. Click OK again. To save our changes, click Save. Let's delete a profile. We've discovered that users are not printing with double-sided and 4-up printing. Click to select double-sided and 4-up printing. And then click Delete. Click Yes to confirm that you want to delete this profile. And then click Save. Let's edit the profile we just created. Click to select double-sided and stapled. Click Properties. Change the ampersand to the word AND, and then click OK. Let's save our changes. Click Save. Creating a default profile is similar to creating driver level or printer specific profiles. Click New. Give the default profile a name, and then enter in a description. If users don't choose to do anything special with their print jobs, we want to force them to conserve paper and ink so we're calling this profile EcoPrint. Click the Settings tab. To prevent users from overriding duplexing, clear double-sided printing, and also clear resolution. To make this a default profile, select Set this as the default profile, and then click Properties. Again, the native printer driver is launched. Click the Paper slash Quality tab. Select Econo Mode to reduce the resolution. Click the Finishing tab. Select Print on both sides. And then click OK. Click OK again. And then click Save. The icon will have a green check mark to indicate that this is a default profile. Now let's select a printer profile in a user session. Go to the Workstation. Double click Remote Desktop Connection. Enter the IP address of the application server and then click Connect. Let's open a Word document to print from. Double click Lorem Ipsum dot doc. Select the gateway printer that has printer profiles associated with it. Select HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. To select a printer profile, click Printer Properties. Click the Print Handling tab. As you can see, the default profile is not available for selection. Let's go back to the print server. We call the default profile EcoPrint. Let's go back to our session. The default profile EcoPrint cannot be selected by the user. However, if the user does not select another profile, EcoPrint will automatically be applied to this document when printing to this HP printer. Let's select double-sided and stapled. And then click OK. Click Print. The document will be printed to the HP LaserJet M4345 MFP printer. 
and the output will be printed on both sides and stapled. Thank you for watching this short video. Join us for our next video on configuring and using SecurePrint and the Uniprint VPAD authentication device.